Well, I went to install those flywheels on Saturday, and I got everything together, and I realized that the clutch disc was uh, barely engaging with the splines on the transmission. And so I took everything apart again and kind of measured it all out and figured out what what the spacing change had been since I had the flywheels machined. And it turned out to be about uh, maybe 17 millimeters. So then I went and I actually unbolted this adapter plate kind of assembly unit here right off the engine. And I discovered in doing so the cause of all those clutch problems I was having. These welds probably really most of them are are broken and so um, the engine was moving when when you press the clutch which explained the uh, engagement problems and all that stuff um, so what I got to do is make these two plates about 18 millimeters closer together and uh, there's enough room for that but I'm gonna have to Kind of play around with the nuts and bolts and things like that to make sure I've got enough clearance to get everything back together again. Um, it'll involve kind of cutting this apart and grinding it up and welding it back again. Um, there's kind of a, I don't know if it's an oil galley plug or, or what, uh, on the on the front of this engine, that little circle right there, I don't know what that is, but uh, oil comes out of it, so uh, this part this part of the adapter plate came with came with the engine. It was on the engine. The starter goes here. This you know goes around the spot around the crankshaft there. Um, and the the people that put this car together originally kind of worked out this uh, this other adapter plate here. And uh, they looked like they had to kind of finagle around with it to get everything kind of lined up and. It looks like they scarfed in another piece right here to adequately connect these two. Hey Mac, what are you doing? You can't use my tools. Anyway, um, so I gotta cut this apart, grind it down, smooth it out, um, get a thinner strip of metal to space the two apart, weld it back together. I think I think I'll preheat this base plate with with the a settling torch before I weld it to make sure I get the proper penetration unlike whatever was done last time um, so I'm really glad I was able to machine the flywheels and I'm also really glad that it didn't line up or didn't didn't space out quite the right way when I put it together because it allowed me to discover this these bad welds and stuff so um, be really anxious to get this back together and uh, by the time I do, I'll have redone just about everything that makes this a custom installation. So uh, there you have it. Again, please uh, comment on my videos, rate them, and share them, and all that stuff. And if you've got any questions, uh, don't hesitate to ask. Thanks. Bye.